In this video, we will discuss stroke prevention in patients with atrial fibrillation. This video is produced by Singh Health in conjunction with the National Neuroscience Institute. The information in this video is for general education purposes and is not meant to provide specific clinical advice. Its content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice. Atrial fibrillation, or AF, is a heart rhythm disorder in which the heart beats irregularly. This condition may present with palpitations. However, it may not result in symptoms. AF can be diagnosed by a doctor by feeling the pulse, listening to the heart, or with ECG heart tracing. AF is the most common heart rhythm disorder. In Singapore, 0.5 to 1% of the population suffer from AF. It is projected that people more than 40 years old have a 1 in 4 risk of developing AF in their lifetime. This risk increases with age, as well as the presence of high blood pressure, heart failure or heart disease, diabetes, high cholesterol, and obesity. AF increases the risk of stroke three to four fold and is responsible for about 15 to 20% of all strokes in Singapore. The irregular heart rhythm of AF can lead to poor pumping of blood out of the upper chambers of the heart. This leads to pooling of blood, making it easier for blood clots to form. These blood clots can break off and travel to the blood vessels connected to the brain. When such a clot obstructs blood flow to the brain, the supply of oxygen and nutrients to the brain is limited, resulting in symptoms of stroke. Stroke can be devastating. It is responsible for 10% of all deaths in Singapore. Two-thirds of stroke patients have some disability following stroke. You can reduce your risk of stroke even if you have AF. The specific treatments will be advised to you by your doctor. Medications that thin the blood prevent the formation of blood clots in the heart, thus reducing the stroke risk in patients with AF. Your doctor will discuss the best medication to reduce stroke risk based on your risk profile and suitability for medications. The most common and widely used blood thinner proven to reduce stroke risk in patients with AF is warfarin. There are now new blood thinners such as Dabigatran, Rivaroxaban and Epizaban. These blood thinners have shown to be as effective as warfarin in stroke prevention in patients with AF. In patients with lower stroke risk or who cannot take blood thinners, your doctor may prescribe antiplatelet medications such as aspirin. These help to reduce the stickiness of blood and can also lower stroke risk. If you have AF, you can also reduce your stroke risk by controlling high blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, maintaining an optimal weight and not smoking will also reduce stroke risk. It is important that you take your prescribed medication as instructed and to go for regular medical follow-up with your doctor. So remember, atrial fibrillation or AF is an important risk factor of stroke. However, medications, regular medical follow-up and a healthy lifestyle can reduce this risk.